Hello students, today I am going to explain you the poem Malala, written by Ron Mendrick. First of all, you must have a query about the title Malala, who is Malala or what is Malala? Malala Yusuf Zahi was a little girl from Pakistan who fought for the education of girl children. She was from the area which was ruled over by the terrorists and who did not allow the girl children to go to school and take their education. But and no one was, uh, was ever uh, to take, took a courage, took a courage to fight against these people because these people were very powerful and but Malala um, was a brave girl and she fought for the uh, girl children. And eventually she was, uh, she was shot in her head by these terrorists in, in the school bus when she was going to school. But she survived even after this attack and, um, and uh, went on uh, and survived this attack and went on writing blogs for the girl children. And um, the whole world was amazed about her, uh, about this courage and she got Nobel Prize only at the age of 16 in 2014. So now let's start the poem, the line by line explanation of the poem. Um, first of all, I recite the poem before you. Where there is darkness, light is forbidden, the brightest of sparks have to be hidden. Yet radiance shines through and gold goodness will thrive. Courage and kindness will always survive. Malala Yusuf Zahi, a girl with a heart, vowed to be true to make a new start. She demanded to know in consternation, how dare they take away my education? Darkness came swiftly to shoot down her dreams. Right in her school bus, she conquered their schemes. Bravely she blocked on to fight for her choice. The world quieted down to hear her sweet voice. I am Malala is our battle cry for children who yearn to reach for the sky. Where there is darkness, what type of darkness, darkness is it? Is it the lack of sunlight? No, it is the lack of wisdom, lack of education. Because education is the light itself, which lightens our mind. Light is forbidden and this light is not allowed in this area. The brightest of sparks have to be hidden. Brightest of sparks, that means the most powerful force of knowledge was uh, hidden or oppressed, oppressed or suppressed uh, over here. Yet radiance shines through and goodness will thrive, but uh, uh, courage and kindness will always survive. But there was a radiance of, radiance of goodness and kindness. Why? Because there was Malala Yusuf Zahi, the girls like Malala. Courage and whenever there is a girl like Malala, there is always courage and kindness. They survive means leave. The courage and kindness will leave where there is Malala. Malala Yusuf Zahi, a girl with a heart, vowed to be true to make a new start. Malala Yusuf Zahi, a girl with a heart. She had courage. She has, has bravery. And that is here called as heart. Vowed to be true. Vowed means to uh, take an oath or to swear. She uh, vowed to be true. True means honest. She wanted to be honest, to make a new start, to make a new start for the girl children. She demanded to know in consternation. She demanded, that means she, she wanted to know. In consternation, consternation means fear, confusion and, um, and shock. How dare they take away my education? She wanted to know. Why are they forbidding my education? Darkness came swiftly to shoot down her dreams. But darkness wanted to, darkness means here the terrorist forces came to shoot down her dreams. Actually, she was shot in her head 
and not only shot in her head but it was a shot uh, to her dreams also right in her school bus when she was in school bus she but she conquered their screens conquered means won over got a victory over their screams their cries uh, of the evil forces bravery she blocked bravely she blocked on and after that also she sh uh, showed bravery and went on writing blogs for the girls to fight for her choice she fought for her choice for education choice here is education the world quieted down and everyone was amazed the whole world amazed and to see uh, to hear her sweet voice i am malala is our battle cry i am malala that is that became a slogan for battle battle means the revolt revolt against the uh, evil forces was is our battle cry for children who yearn yearn means who longs for who wants uh, wants from their heart, who want from their heart to reach for the sky who has a great ambition the children who have great ambition uh, uh, has uh, are now inspired by the girls like malala and uh, not only girls malala is one and only and everyone is inspired by her now the question answer of this poem uh, first one is according to the poet what is the thing that always survive answer according to the poet courage and kindness always survive number 2 explain the meaning of the first two lines of the poem where there is the rule of fear first two lines are what uh, where there is darkness light is forbidden the brightest of sparks have to be hidden what is the meaning where there is the rule of fear and illiteracy where the light of education has not come the brightest of sparks cannot make their heads up number 3 how dare they take away my education who said this what does this tell us about the speaker number 1 who said this it is obvious that malala said this and uh, why this tells uh, what does it tell about her uh, this tells us that the speaker is very courageous and great and has great love for education number 4 what did malala do to express her thoughts and fight for her choice malala started writing blogs in favor of women's education to fight for her choice number 5 how did the world respond to malala's bravery the world quieted down to hear her sweet voice and gifted her with nobel peace prize so this is the whole explanation of this poem children i uh, suppose you have understood all uh, me and if you have any query then you can ask me in the comment box thank you